Going back to the start of the race, from the front, you couldn't tell that those KTMs may have got away before the red lights turned to green on the starting gantry. They were first and second into the first corner. Tidy in behind with Ewan Mackay making great moves in the BMW from, to go from fifth to third. And there, unfortunately, is one of the Aston Martins uh, going down towards the tail of the field. David Griesner really losing out, uh, being given a bit of a shove there. Then the drive-through penalties and these two KTMs came out. They had to come back in for their first pit stop or their planned pit stop and they came out in about 20th position, had to fight their way back up the order. And then this great battle for the lead. Stefan Lemeray in the little CMR Alpine. Why did he drop back? He had a front left puncture. That cost him the lead. Roman Monsi stayed out as long as he could and he handed in, came into the pits, handed over the 66 bullet racing Mercedes to his teammate Alex Lamberts. And then the best battle of the race, rage for an age between Gabriele Piana, just making the move there to go to second place ahead of Alec Udell. Then Alec had the rest of the race with so much company. He had uh, Jan Kissel all over his tail, but somehow kept the yellow Mercedes behind him to hold on to third place. Spinners up and down the order, they come. It's a circuit that uh, encourages spins in so many ways, but for Alex Lamberts, no spins from him. 10.5 seconds, his margin of victory at the end of the race, right on the dot of one hour. And no wonder he was so happy and Roman Monti running out to greet his winner. The team really happy indeed, just waiting for Roman. There he is, looking cool, calm, and taking the full quota of points.